Hello everybody, it is Hovering Banana back with another Rocket League video. In the previous one, we took a look at rlswaps.com, as well as the introduction of trade bots into Rocket League, talked about stuff like the pros and cons, how it will affect the market, some security issues. However, today we're taking a look at another trade bot in Rocket League, and I thought it would be a great idea to compare the two, see how they hold up, take a look at stuff such as the interface, compare the functionality of the two websites, see which one is better stocked, and finally, and probably most importantly, compare the pricing. So here we are on this trade bot called rl.deals. Now I would say the interface for both rl.deals and rlswaps is very solid, very reminiscent of other trade bots in other games. So if you have experience there, these will be very comfortable to use. And I would say whichever one looks better is probably down to just a matter of preference. However, one small little nitpick I can say is that on rl.deals, you can scroll and move the whole web page, whereas on RL Swaps, the page is fixed, and I just feel that gives a bit of a cleaner look. However, like I said, it's just a nitpick and it's a relatively small detail. But let's move on to functionality, and I'll start off with what I think RL Deals does really well. First off, you've got that how to trade button, and over here, I like that it just gives you pictures, which I think makes it easier to explain and understand the process. However, on RL Swaps, I do like that it doesn't move you off the page. They've also got a nifty wallet system, so any change left over from other trades is stored on the site, and you can use it at any time. Now I wouldn't really recommend storing like a thousand plus keys on this website. Say the next day Sionix decides to ban trade bots, well, you're probably pretty screwed, but it's nice if you're storing a couple of extra cents from your trades, or maybe just up to like two to three keys. Another nice feature is the rarity filter. You can sort by black market, common, exotic. It's very handy, but I also think it's a feature that is missing from RL Swaps. However, in terms of functionality, what I think RL Swaps does much better is inviting the bot to trade. On RL Swaps, you simply have to just click one button, you don't even have to sign into Steam anymore. Whereas on RL Deals, you're first gonna have to set up the trade, then you're gonna have to add the bot. Now finding out where to add the bot is not the easiest process. From there, you have to send the bot a message saying exclamation mark trade. Bot will send you an invite, you have to accept that and then you can finally do the deal. But let's move on to the next section I wanna talk about and that is stock. So on RL swaps, they generally have what I've noticed under about 100 keys. Whereas if you have a look at RL deals, they've got several hundred more. RL deals also has a lot more of the higher tier items. They've got that big white hat on there, but they've also got gold stones, they've got the gold rush boost, they've got a white octane. So I think they win on that high tier category. When we take a look at black markets, I feel it's fairly even. Haven't noticed a huge discrepancy there. However, RL swap starts to come out ahead when we move to pen and exotics and lower. But when you get to those lower value items, the more obscure ones, RL swaps is definitely shining here. Something random like the Marauder 18 decal, you can find a lot of those on RL swaps. In a similar vein, something like the Animus GP Rose King, you'll find it much better stocked on RL swaps. Now this could just be due to RL Swaps being the more popular website. If they were say even in popularity, you'd maybe see these very low tier items equally stocked. And the final section we can compare today and probably the most important one is taking a look at price. Now this is one area where I think RL.deals falls short. If we take a look at some painted ARA wheels, on RL Swaps I'm getting about 34 cents for my crimson and black ones and 72 cents for my sky blue. And you'll see that RL Swaps sells the item themselves for about 15 to 20 cents more. But we move to RL.deals and you'll see that they give me much lower values for my painted ARAs. I'm only getting 5 cents for my black ones, 5 cents for my crimson ones, and then 10 cents for my sky blue ones. And for when they sell it themselves, it's not as bad, but it is about 25 cents more expensive. If we take a look at painted photons on RL Swaps, I'm getting about one key for my crimson ones, and then 34 cents for burnt sienna or gray. Same thing with the ARAs, they tend to sell them at about 15 to 30 cents more. When we have a look at RL deals, I'm getting about half a key for the crimson one, and then 15 cents for the gray and burnt siennas. When we take a look at what they sell it for, it tends to be about 25 cents extra compared to RL swaps. And the final item I wanna compare is the biomass decal. On RL swaps, I'm getting 4.36, whereas they are selling it for 4.85, so it's not a huge difference there. And then we switch to RL deals, and they unfortunately fall short once again. They are offering us 4.1 keys for our biomass and selling it for 5 keys. 
So we can see in those three examples that RL swaps is coming out ahead, but that doesn't mean give up on RL.deals. Tradebots are very new to the scene, so they're constantly updating their pricing. I think RL.deals is a very solid website and could be good competition, just as long as they tweak those prices a little bit. But that concludes our look at RL.deals. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Subscribe if you guys are new around here and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.